We found it. A pep, the Dendro Dragon. Paima knew it would be big, but not that big. Puny god, puny human, leave my domain. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. Apep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boor. You are no different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heaven's glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead, as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you let go of your hatred, even for only a moment? Let go. For only a moment. Foolish Boor. You will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. No! You're ill, that's all! That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind remains clear. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth, and you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming! Ah, what is that? Paimon's never seen that before! It's our family. Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi! External form not important. Inner nature say. The composition of their elemental power is identical to ours. In other words, they're residents of our homeland. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation, although a most gruesome and pitiful one. Many of our family members never made it out of the Dendro Dragon. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! They've given it their all just to survive. They're being drawn by the Fire Seed. Only its power can temporarily free them from their pain. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do so. Everything else has been discarded in the process of adaptation. So this is the result of forbidden knowledge. Would our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that? Like fish struggling on land. Unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. Yes, but please try to be gentle with them. They are not evil in nature. to leave the Dendro Dragon. Is there a way to make them revert to their elemental form? 
Years of torment is what turned them into their current state. Their external form has become their shackles. It seems only the Fire Seed or a Pep's Heart of Oasis can save them. But it'll be risky if we use the Fire Seed again. Correct. We cannot use the Fire Seed again. Everyone goes home. Not just us. Uh, this is big. <sighs> Let me think for a second. <sighs> it's fine. Let's use the power of the Fire Seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. It won't require much elemental power. I'm just worried that it'll become unstable. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it a little, it shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I've come- I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because I hope to use you and your experience and try speaking to a pep again. After all, that giant Dendro dragon is also your family. Maybe it would listen. I will stand with you, Lord of Dendro. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. All right, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. Whoa! It's shining now! Endless amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me. To imagine such growth could be achieved in such a short period of time... It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams! Yes, finally. This is the last part. Let's go. Behold! The wind rises. Fury. Quit following me. The wind rises. Fury. This cave is huge. Could this be where the Dendro Dragon lives? Yeah. Who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. But how are we going to do that? I'll see what I can do. A pep, I know we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very different understanding of the world and its orders. However, we are both born of elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. We should not let our differences get in the way. Hmm. Wonder if the Dendro Dragon's even willing to listen. I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. Nor do I expect you to be grateful. I'm here to save both you and your people. My people! They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. They yearn for a chance to return home. And now that everything is over, all the hatred that you harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than continuing to fight, you should consider the life you've produced. 
No response. Your eagerness to survive means that you haven't given up on that world yet. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? Everyone safe and send us to the homeland. only able to ensure that we made it here safely. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up at... Yep, let's go. I Paima knew that. It's just that... Uh, let's hurry. She might be just 